Hey everybody, Mr. Pedersen here, and today we're looking at Unit 4, Week 2, and we're going to start off by looking at our essential question and our picture here to give us an idea of what we're going to learn this week. So our essential question this week is, how can we use what you know to help others? And our weekly con concept is skills and talents. So just looking at this picture, we can see these two guys. They are maybe friends or acquaintances. They're in a similar situation. They're both in wheelchairs. So this looks like our older friend here and our younger buddy. And the, our older friend was probably in a similar situation before where he knows that if this guy goes to shoot the basketball, his chair might move around or it might get him out of balance. So he's using what he knows and his past experiences to help someone else. So that's what this uh, whole essential question is about. How can you use what you know? What can you use from your skills or something that, you're good at to help somebody else with. Awesome. So let's move on. That picture gives us a little example there. And this video is going to give us some more examples of using what we know to help others. Skills and talents. How can you use what you know to help others? Joe plays wheelchair basketball. He is really good. When he's not playing basketball with his friends, he uses his skills to teach other people how to play. Joe uses what he knows to help others. Maddie is really good at baking. She is using what she knows to teach her younger sister Janie how to do something new. Tomas is teaching his younger sister something new too. They will be able to grow beautiful flowers and vegetables together. How can you use what you know to help someone else? Great. So that gave us some awesome examples of how you can use what you know to help somebody else. I know for me, I like to go fishing. So I've helped some of my friends learn how to go fishing and do what they need to do to learn and get better at it. Here's another example here. We can see maybe this is a mom or a sister or aunt, someone that this person knows that's using what they know to help this younger girl uh, do a performance. You can see she's all dressed up, so she probably had to help her recite some lines or dance moves or something to get ready to perform. So this older person had some experiences and skills, and they helped the younger girl uh, with learning those skills. So that's just another small example there. Here's our vocabulary words that we're going to be involved with in this week. We have achievement. Apologized, attention, audience, confidence, embarrassed, realized, and talents. So we're going to keep these words in mind during our reading, and we're going to use these more throughout this week. Now we're going to take a look at our story for this week in our Connect Ed book. So as you can see here, we're keeping our essential question in mind. How can you use what you know to help others? We already took took a look at this example here. And I just want to read this really quick. It says, use your skills. We all have skills and talents. We might be artistic or smart. We might be good at sports or music. And we can use our talents to help others. Our skills and talents make us feel good about ourselves. So that's a good little addition to that. So you might be great at video games or sports or baking or uh, even drawing. And you can use those skills to help someone else and teach them and help them learn as well. So let's take a look here. Here's some example sentences for our vocabulary words. This is going to come in handy later on. And here's our story for this day that we're going to look at. And our genre is realistic fiction. And realistic fiction consists of stories that could have actually occurred to people or animals in a believable setting, right? So it's a made-up story but it still has realistic components. And the stories are similar to real life, including the fictional characters within them. So although it's a made up story and has made up characters, they, the characters can still be similar to people in real life. And then here's our essential question. How can you use what you know to help others? And we're gonna read about how Daniel uses what he knows to save a pet show. Pretty interesting story. I think you're gonna be excited to read it and it's gonna help us understand this concept a little bit better. Then after you read you're going to make some connections. How did Daniel use what he knows to help others? 
and you're going to answer your text to self question. Discuss whether you would like to take part in a pet show and why. So let's take a look at the slideshow that I made for you guys and that you're going to use this to help you answer some questions and get a, a better idea of what's going on this week. So this is what it looks like. I want you to answer this part of the essential question here just to get a better idea of you guys. It'll help me get to know you a little bit better about some things that you're good at and things that you like to do. So it says, how can you use what you know to help others? In the space provided below in the blue spot, type something you could teach to someone or help others with, and how could you do this? So remember to restate your question. You're going to type how you could teach someone, something that you could teach to someone or help others with, and how you could do that. So like I said, you might be a good artist or a great musician or just something like that or great at video games, and uh, you could say how you could do how you could teach uh, someone else those skills that you have here's our uh, additional skills for this week that go along with our reading we already know that our genre is realistic fiction which we just talked about I have the definition here for you to refer back to and we're going to be working on asking and answering questions we're going to be working on point of view and prefixes so we already know that we have to ask and answer questions about reading. It's going to help us with our reading comprehension skills. And the point of view is going to have to do with our point of view from a reading. Who is involved in the story and our character that is the story mostly about or our viewpoint from that character and how their outlook is to tell us the story. And we know that prefix is our, uh, um, an addition to a base word in the beginning of a word. So we know that prefixes go in the beginning of a word, beginning of a base word, unlike a suffix, which goes at the end. Moving on, here's our vocabulary again. I listed all the vocabulary words with their definitions. Now here's your directions. For this week, you're going to read The Impossible Pet Show like we just saw. Sign into your ConnectEd account. Read The Impossible Pet Show. And then you're going to answer the questions on the next slide. You're going to make some connections here by looking back in the text to answer how did Daniel use what he knows to help others. So you can't just guess. You're going to have to use certain things from the story to help you answer this, making sure to restate your question, and then you give your response in the blue area here. Lastly, you're going to answer the text to self question. Discuss whether you would like to take part in a pet show and why. Type your response here, making sure to restate your question. Well, we know Mr. Pedersen loves animals, and he would probably love, I would love that, right? Because uh, you saw my reptile video, so I think I would like to do that because I could show people some cool animals, like in the video that I made for you guys, and it'd be a great educational opportunity for me to show people animals they've never seen before and learn about something new. So that's just my personal example. I want to hear whether you would like to take part in a pet show and why. So I think you're going to do awesome on this. Everything you need is right here. Let's make it an awesome week. You guys are doing an awesome job. Leave a question on Google Classroom if you need anything. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.